time for an update on the new wheel setup on the Tesla back here. Uh, a week or two or so ago, I decided that I was going to remove the aero wheel covers from my Tesla to expose the wheels underneath, which by the way are awesome. These wheels look really, really good. So kudos to Tesla for not just putting some ugly junker wheel on underneath where those covers would then go over. Speaking of the covers, let's take a look at these. I'm not real thrilled with them. Not the looks of them. I think they look pretty good on the car. And they're still like a hubcap, which I'm not, you know, real hip on. But the problem is the way they're held on. If you look at the back, the center cap thing is not too bad. It's got little plastic nubs that go in the center part of the wheel, which uses pressure to hold it in, right? That aids these little clips that go all the way around, and that's where the problem is. These clips are metal, and you never want to put metal against metal, right? Because that leads to scratching, and that is the problem, the only problem, I really think, with this setup. If you look at the wheels, which again, look really, really nice, the caps scratch them. There's a scratch right here, Hopefully the camera picks that up. There's a scratch here. And there are scratches, I believe, on every one where those clips make contact. It's really too bad because it kind of diminishes the look a little bit if you're picky like I am when you can see the scratches on the wheels because of that design. Now, as far as accommodating or taking care of the lug nuts, and the center cap hole because there's obviously a hole there where that little center nub with the plastic pieces I guess that I showed you in the beginning plugs into. Now what I did I went out to Amazon and I bought a kit. The kit comes with a little puller that you can grab these caps with to pull them off because they're rather hard to get off without. The center cap and then the lug covers themselves. If I'm being honest it's a pretty cheap kit. If you push these covers on for the lug nuts too far, they will split, they will crack. I made that mistake the first time. I wanted to make sure they were on there really well, so I pushed kind of hard, I heard the crack, and indeed it was ruined. Now, the center caps. I think the nubs, and I'll show you here on the back of the arrow cover. I think these little nubs, these things right here, on the caps that I got are not quite long enough. They're just a little bit too short. And what they do when you push them in, this is kind of like a spring, when you push them in they go over a ledge on the wheel so they're pushed together and then they pop out once they get down on the ledge right on this edge of the clip if you will. That's to hold these in and then to pull them out you just pull them out. Well, the problem with the kit is, is the distance between here and here, the length of them is too short. They're pretty compacted or tight in there when you push them in, and they almost don't push over the ledge. They need to be a little bit longer. Because of that, they can pop out. Also, the quality of them is a little suspect as well. When you push them in, these have to be able to bend. And on those caps, they will crack on the other side because the plastic nubs are not flexible enough. And of course, when they crack, they weaken, they don't push out as much as they should, and they'll even break. I had one break where I had to have it replaced. That's kind of a bummer because the setup itself is really pretty darn good. I mean, if you check out the look... I think these look really good on the car. It gives you a nice finished area once you remove those aero covers. Now, Tesla, as well as some other aftermarketers, have a bigger centerpiece. Something similar to this, I guess. A big centerpiece that kind of plugs in. It has little arms on it to go around the lug nuts. It's ugly. I mean, it's, it's bulky, it's ugly. And it doesn't, of course, cover the lug nuts, so you can still see the, the chrome or silver lug nut exposed. Now, one could replace the lug nuts, I suppose, with black lug nuts. That would be a good solution, would look much better. 
And I may do that down the road on, on this. If these don't hold up, I might go ahead and just replace the lug nuts with black lug nuts. And then I wouldn't need these covers at all because they would then blend right in and not leave you any, uh, any silver exposed. If you're like me and you don't like the silver or chrome look. Now, another thing I want to point out before we move on to performance, I guess, are the brake calipers. Toyota did us another favor. They gave us brake calipers with uh, Tesla on them. You can see right there, kind of a higher end look. They didn't have to do that. They could have just left that off and you just have a silver uh, or chrome. It's not really chrome. It's more of a pewter slash silver look to it on those brake calipers. It is a nice finished looking part. Um, they could have left them all rough and machine looking, but they didn't do that. They look really, really nice. So kudos to, to Tesla, I guess, for doing that as well. Now, let's talk about performance. And I mean in the form of, I guess, fuel economy. Or not really fuel economy. I mean, I guess electric is fuel. But I'm talking about range. How has it affected the car for me? Because there's a lot of chatter out there that if you remove the caps up there, that you're going to suffer when it comes to range. Now, let me preface this by saying that I don't use the car for long distance trips or really even a whole lot of freeway driving. Most of my driving is local, slower speed limits, kind of like a, I guess it's a daily commuter for me or a, an errand runner vehicle. So I don't get up to speeds where aerodynamics really play a big role. That said, I haven't really noticed any reduction in, uh, in range or the usage, I guess, of electricity because I don't have those caps on. So in my case, it's made absolutely no difference. I haven't noticed any reduction at all. Now, if you're a big time commuter, long distance, you're on the freeways a lot, I suppose you might notice a little bit. I can't imagine it would really be that much. Uh, those aero caps do make the air flow over the wheels, of course, better than having spokes like what we have right now. But nonetheless, I haven't noticed any big difference. Certainly not enough where I would consider putting them back on. And honestly, the only time I would ever put them back on is if I were to trade the car in or sell it just to bring the car back to stock as much as possible. You always want to do that when you trade a car in. It's more valuable to the dealerships when it's kind of cookie cutter stock. That's the only time I would do it. Otherwise, they're going to sit on a shelf over there until I go to get my next Tesla. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you've taken these off, you notice any difference in range? And how do you like the new look? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.